Good evening, good evening, good evening. Well, my name is Pastor Merlin Boyd, and the name of my channel is called Nuggets for Life. And I haven't been on for a while. I've had death after death after death. It's just been crazy. Um, I had to go to California, bury my last aunt, who was real close to me, it was like a mother to me. I had to go and bury her. But while getting ready to go bury her, went to get a rental car, and we're in the rental car place so that we can drive all the way to California, from Nashville to California. We get a phone call that my brother-in-law, DeWitt Johnson, you know him, um, very famous. Uh, he wrote the song, Glad to Be in God's Service. Um, he, he's written many songs, uh, won all kinds of awards. Well, he passed just as we were getting ready to come to California. But we had to come on anyway, so we came and we were in California. We had to go um, like three days to get there, basically. We left that third, that Friday, and trouble just kept coming. Trouble was on every hand. We left that Friday, and I just want to tell you a little bit about my my week. So we left that Friday um, around 11.30 that night, and we head out. And it's my daughter, my oldest daughter, my husband, and my grandbaby. And my husband don't drive because he's blind in one eye, so it was just two of us driving, two women. And so we're in the car, we're driving along, and the... Uh, we get to Albuquerque. We do pretty good. We get to Albuquerque and something's wrong. They they stop all of the trucks in us. We're sitting on the highway um, at, in Albuquerque for eight hours. No bathroom. Luckily we had food in the car with a, a chest, ice chest full of food and drinks. But we had no bathroom for eight hours. We could not get out the car. We got out, but we had to stand stand outside the car in order to, um, you know, get our to re relax and stand up a little bit. We finally get um, finally get released so that we can go on to California. We're on, we're on Highway at forty, and we're going forty all the way, and we end up getting lost when we got to. Um, San Bernardino, we, we we kept going in a circle. So we went in circles for like three, about an hour it took us, we kept going in circles, couldn't find how to get on the freeway to San Bernardino. So we stopped and got a motel. And then we were somewhere from like about 200, three, about 300 miles from from San Diego where we were going. We gets to San Diego, we know we gets, we driving on and we get lost again. So we ended up getting another hotel <laughs> and we stayed there until the next morning. And we called them and told them we would be on um, after we rest. We were so tired and frustrated. So we get to California. Then we had the funeral and we were there for like one day. Then we head back out coming to back to Nashville because the funeral was going to be on Saturday. They was having a, um, a big concert on that Friday, but we were, I didn't make the concert. We got back for the concert Friday night, but I didn't make it. I was so tired. And uh, we went to, um, I had, we had the funeral that Saturday. But before then, before we even went to my aunt's funeral, we went to Alabama because one of my members' brother had died. So we've just been move after move after move after move. Trouble after trouble after trouble. But God is still a good God. And out of all this, I could have cracked, crumbled or whatever. But God is still a good God. And so while I'm talking, I'm asking that I'm gonna ask that you all would um thumbs up, like the video, share the video, and um you can write a comment. Um I'm asking that you would subscribe. Uh yeah, do that. And so tonight tonight I'm gonna to talk about um I'm going to talk about when storms come into in your life, 
How are you? Um, how's your foundation? How's your foundation? Excuse my hair. I'm wearing my own hair because um, it's late and I had, you know, didn't want to put on a wig or anything. So I just kind of lifted my hair out. It's kind of kinky and everything. But um, excuse my presence. But I just wanted to come on and give you guys this word. But I want to talk about what are you building on? You know, because if we don't build on the right things, when trouble come, when death come, when you lose your job, when your children acting up, when you're about to lose your marriage, when the doctors walk away and say they can't do anything, when sickness is in your body, um, when life just happens, when things are just going wrong, what are you built on? What, what are you really built on? We should be built on Jesus Christ, the solid rock. But people, I don't even want to say saints. I just want to say people. We need Jesus Christ in these last and evil days in order to survive, in order to make it. We need him. But I find that so many people don't believe in Jesus anymore. So many people don't want to talk about Jesus anymore. So many people are building their foundations, building their lives, their faith on things and people and situations. And we trust our own selves. We don't trust God anymore. So we're building on everything but the right foundation. And when you don't build on the right foundation, when trouble comes, it will tear you apart. But if you trust in Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, saints, people of God, people, you can make it. You can make it. Turn with me to Matthew 24. Matthew 7 and 24. I just want to talk about. I want to do a part one and part two. This first part I want to talk about, there's two foundations, okay? I want to talk about building on a solid foundation and then building on a wrong foundation. So I think it's befitting to tell you about the right foundation first. We want to talk about the first foundation, that is, what are you building on? What are you building your house on, this house? This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This is your house. What is your heart built on? What is your life built on? What is your faith built on? Jesus compares us listening and doing the word to a wise man. What he's saying is, if he gives you instructions to do something and you do it, you're wise. But if he gives you some instructions to do something and you don't listen, you don't pay attention, you think it's okay to do what you want to do, you think it's okay to go where you want to go, you don't want to listen to nothing that God is telling you to do, you're building your foundation on the wrong foundation. Let's read the word, 7, Matthew 7 and 24. And it says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them may be compared to a wise man who built his house on the rock, 25th verse, and the rain fell and the floods came, the winds blew and slammed against that house, and yet it did not fall. For it had been founded on a rock. Hallelujah. Saints, people, man, woman, boy or girl, whoever you might be, I found that I have been in many floods. I found that the rains have beat up against my house, my faith. The rains have beat up against my spirit, my mind. 
the, 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 the wind has blew in my ear, in my mind, in my heart. Trying to get me to give up on God. Trying to make me throw in the towel. Coming against everything I do. Trying to be rebellious against whatever I might say. When these winds came. When these rains came. When this flood of the devil came in like a flood. God lifted the standard against it. Because I trusted in God. I built my foundation, my house, my spirit, my faith, my trust is founded upon the rock, and that rock is Jesus Christ. You got to build your house on the right stuff. There's a whole lot of stuff you can build on. Yeah. A whole lot of stuff. You can build on some stuff, saints. The world is full of stuff. But is it the right stuff? See, I'm from San Diego. We have beaches and sand. I realized that if I had built my house on the sand, when the waves came in, it was going to wash my house away. I realized that if I don't build my house on a solid foundation, the rock Jesus, when the flood came, see, and the enemy will come in like a flood. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. When he comes, he comes to kill. When he comes with trouble, he comes to destroy your faith. When he comes to when he comes, he comes to steal your joy. And if you're not built on a solid foundation, when you lose your job. When your children are acting a donkey, when you don't have no food to eat, when you don't have nothing, nothing to do, no place to live, when you when you lose a loved one, you will want to take your own life, and you may want to even give up. Uh huh. You may even want to give up. But I come today to tell you, saints, just go on and build on the right stuff. Don't be cheap. See, you, when, you, when you're doing that, you're, you're being cheap. And you're trying to find something easy to build on. Most of the time, we try to find people to build on. We find movies to build on. We find TikTok to build on. We find Facebook to build on. We find YouTube to build on and Twitter. We find our, our mothers and our fathers to build on. We find a man to come in. He don't even have to even be a good man. Don't even have a job to help you. Can't do nothing for you. But we find a pair of pants to build on. And all they want to do is use you and take advantage of you. And vice versa. If it's a man, all you're looking for is a woman with a big bottom. And after that, you don't know what Judy going to do with the big booty. You don't know. We find fake people and things. We make them our gods. We're not building on the right material, saints. I come to help you today to let you know if you're building on anything other than Jesus Christ, the storms are going to come. The rains are going to come. The flood is going to beat up against your house. The winds are going to beat up against your life. It's going to slam against your, your house. It's going to crush you. It's going to crush you. It's going to destroy you. Because you were not expecting such a hard hit. But if you build on Jesus Christ, even though the hit is hard, mm, you can get back up again. You can rebuild again. God is a God of chances. I don't want to say second chance because I know him to be a God of many chances. He will restore you. If you build on him, everything that the canker worm ate up, 
He will give it back to you. You know why? Because you trusted in him. What are you building on? What are you building your house on? This is our house. And we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. God will not suffer your feet to be moved. If you trust him, guess what? He's going to make sure that everything you need be supplied. He's going to make sure that when all these things hit up against you at the same time, you can keep on smiling. Because you know what? God said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I got your back. You may cry a little bit. You may cry a lot. But just know when it's over, this too shall pass. And joy is going to come in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Be assured that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and to those who are called according to his purpose. Be assured that he said, I'll never leave you nor will I forsake you. And he said, I'm more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror through, through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God owned a cattle on a thousand hills. All the silver, all the gold belongs to him. You just have to be faithful. Because Jesus is faithful. He will not leave you. He'll catch you before you fall. Uh -huh. But you got to build your house on a solid foundation. The rock. Jesus is the rock. Build your house. Your house. Your faith. Your heart. Your mind. Your spirit. Build it on the right material. The word of God. For the people of God. I love you. And God loves you more. If you're on here and you're a subscriber, put on there where you're from. I want to know where you're from. I want to know your name. I want to know how you're doing. And if this word has touched you, I'll see you tomorrow with the second part. And the second part is coming from Matthew 7, 25. Excuse me, 26 and 27. And I'm going to tell you what it is so you can come back tomorrow and get the rest. The second part is, everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and slammed against that house. And it fell and great was its fall. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to talk about how great that fall can be. Tonight, I want you to go in prayer and ask God to help you build your house on a solid foundation. I love you. God loves you. See you tomorrow.